<laughs> All right, let's do this. So you guys had um, polar coordinates, and it may have gotten into a little bit of polar equation. Uh, let's talk about it. What do you guys want to see from last night's homework? Section 11. Yes, ma'am. Uh, number, number nine. <coughs> okay, so this is a line, theta equals uh, three pi over five, right? So when we look at this, usually an equation for polar is gonna be like r equals three sine of two theta or something like that, where r is um, the dependent variable and theta is the independent variable. But this one just says theta equals three pi over five. And that's it. So, um, for theta equals 3 pi over 5, let's go ahead and put the uh, unit circle that we know and love on here. And we go out, and it's right there. Where is 3 pi over 5 located? So, 3 pi over 5. Well, 3 pi over 6 is the same as pi over 2, which would be right there. But now 3 pi over 5, I have that that's going to be greater than 0.5 pi, right? That's really 0.6 pi. So it's going to be in between pi halves and pi, so it's going to be somewhere over here. So it's going to look basically something like, like that, only it's going to extend indefinitely, so... Instead of just having the so this is going to go indefinitely in both directions and this is your line theta equals 3 pi over 5 so the question is what is your what's the slope of that How would we get there? Um, I did, since tangent theta equals y over x, then tangent, if you just plug in the theta. Good, so we have the theta value right here. So basically it always goes back to those four main pieces of information, how we relate rectangular to polar or polar to rectangular. So right now we're given a theta value, so that's in polar, and we want to bring it back into rectangular. So it's gonna be something like that. Knowing that the, uh, tangent theta equals y over x, um, that's gonna give us a way to represent that. So what is, so now we have that theta is three pi over five is equal to, and what's the, uh, what's that equal to? Let's just plug it into your calculator. Anybody, go ahead, tangent of 3 pi over 5. Okay, negative 3.0773. So we get that y over x equals negative 3.077 something. Multiplying both sides by x, we get that y is equal to negative 3.007x, right? So that's the equation of the line. So when it asks for the slope of this, it's just going to be that <coughs> negative 3.007 value. Or 077, sorry, 077 value. And that's the, that's the slope right there. So the steepness of that in terms of x's and y's is just negative 3.077. Okay, what else? 
from last night. You guys, one through 23 are. Andre? Number 11. 11. Okay, so this is converting to an equation in rectangular coordinates. So again, this is an equation. So let's talk about it. We have that r is equal to 7. So the way that we have, uh, we know that r squared equals x squared plus y squared. Agreed? From, from this. So that, another way we could do it is r squared equals x squared plus y squared. And so over here, all I'm going to have is x squared plus y squared equals 49. Bam. That's it. Because this is an equation of a circle, right, using x's and y's, centered at the origin with the radius of 7. r equals 7 is centered at the pole, just the r value is always 7. So if you think about it, you start with the r value of 7, but it doesn't give you any specification for the theta value, so it's for all theta values, right? Well, that's also going to be a circle. So r equals 7 is the way we represent a circle in, uh, or center at the origin, uh, in polar. And this is how we, we represent that same exact circle in rectangular. Again, you're using one of those four pieces of information to go back and forth. What else? That's it. x squared plus y squared equals 49. That's the equation in rectangular coordinates. Rectangular is only dealing with x's and y's. Or is dealing with R's and theta's. Yeah? 16. 16. <coughs> oh, yeah, we did only have to do R. I had 1 through 23 R. How about 15? Maybe? No? Okay. So for something like 15, we have this. If we multiply both sides by cosine theta minus sine theta, then here I have on the left-hand side, so well, on the right-hand side, I'm just going to be left with one. And on the left-hand side, I'm going to have this. Once I distribute through, I'm left with r cosine theta minus r sine theta equals 1. So now I need some way to relate these r's and thetas to x's and y's. But then you say, oh, r cosine theta is just x. r sine theta is just y. So x minus y equals 1. Or if you wanted to make it, y equals x minus 1. You could do that as well, solving for y. You don't need to. Because all it says is it wanted an equation in rectangular. Either one. All right? OK. <coughs> I think I'm ready to move on. Are you guys? Cool, let's move on. <coughs> I am going to uh, go back to number 16, though, just because I do want to talk about that very briefly before I get into um, the calculus with Paul. So, did you start over? No. It's only nine minutes. But you stopped the first one? <coughs> 